just going to show you how I solder a few surface mount capacitors and resistors uh, using just a normal iron and some tweezers. So I've got my iron set to about 330 degrees which is approximately 626 degrees Fahrenheit. You can go to about 360 or 370 degrees if you want to or 680, 680 to 700 Fahrenheit but I find that 330 degrees or about 630 Fahrenheit is, is ideal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, if you can see, this is about the closest I can zoom in my camera. So I'm going to tack. This is what I've learned from a friend at work. You tack that side, you tack the two sides. Just, just, just put a, bit of, a dollop of solder on you can see it's just a small amount on one side of the component then you get your tweezers and put in tack it in you can see that okay then I get another one we'll do the same thing Alright, like so. And then you finish up by just, I just turn the board around a bit and solder the other side. There. It looks a bit blobby. You, you should try and minimize the amount of solder you can put on it so that it doesn't look. That one there looks a bit too blobby. That one there is probably right. You just, you sort of want to fill it um, arrangement. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'll turn the board around, do three on the other side. Again, the same technique. So there, there, there. I'm going to sew these three. Again, pick up your part. Tack it on one side. Third one. I need to turn it over. First. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. And just sometimes you might want to just touch up the other side if you think it's not healing too. Okay. And that's it.